related to the year, it would help if I put my mic up here instead of on the computer. I'm all sorts of out of whack today. Sorry, my hair's wet. I did took, take a shower recently. <laughs> so here I am in all my glory. It's going to be a quick live tonight. I hope you guys can hear me. I know there's a bit of a delay, um, so it'll take a minute for things to kind of pick up and hopefully um, you guys will be able to hear me okay. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm going to be doing a quick live tonight and um, just adjusting things on my desk. Sorry. Um, basically just using some supplies that I have to create some backgrounds. Hi, Judy. Sorry for the hustle and bustle of the beginning of this. It's a little um, chaotic. Uh, hi, Anna. Thanks for popping in, you guys. Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down. There'll be a little picture of me at the bottom as well so we can still like chat. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be just making some batter up uh, batterns backgrounds, maybe making some backgrounds using some uh, Simon Hurley inks and the stencils and things from the new release that I'm really excited about. I haven't gotten a chance to use them as much as I would like, so I'm going to be doing that. Hi, Molly. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and switch over. Hang tight. All right, here we go. All right, I got my inks over here, so um, it's a little bit crowded on my desk at the moment, um, but we are going to go ahead and get started. Hi, Whitney. Thanks for joining in. Um, let me know if there's any trouble with the stream or anything. If anything seems off or, um, different, sorry that I'm having so much noise over here by my mic. I have like the messiest desk. You can, there's stuff like piled on my desk back here. Um, I have been being, been being a naughty crafter. I have not been cleaning up after myself and it's causing issues. Um, <laughs> it is a little too crowded in here. Things are getting difficult. We're back to like my old school days when I used to have no room on my craft desk, uh, and way too much going on in the form of projects. So, um, hello CM, how's it going? Um, we're going to be doing some ink blending here. Um, I do have my ink blending tool here. Um, I apologize if you guys notice, I don't know if you'll be able to notice, but my nails are really not good. Um, I've been trying to learn how to paint my own nails and it's not going well. Um, kudos to all of you who can paint your own nails, but I am not that coordinated. Uh, so here we are. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna start my ink blending with the new color here, which is called Prom Queen. I absolutely love this color, so it is getting a lot of use right now in my craft room. I'm gonna grab on the floor, because I am that kind of crafter, my, my uh, mat, my craft mat. Uh, yep, that bad boy was on the floor. <laughs> my beautiful craft room, and I've just been throwing stuff on the floor, you guys. It's not good. Um, anyway, <laughs> this new color is called Prom Queen. I really love it. Oh, it's so vibrant and pink, and it just makes me happy. Um, this is from the April release that Simon Hurley just came out with, so it is still very new. It only just came out a couple days ago. Hi, B. Um, what up, Cindy Ellen? Oh, so your desk looks just like mine? Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> there is no glamour here. I am just another crafter, you guys. <laughs> Hi, Vals. How's it going? Hi, Carol. Thanks for joining in, you guys. Um, I am going to be doing... So basically, I, I don't have too long to craft tonight um, because I will otherwise not get a chance to eat dinner um, and... I will not be not eating dinner. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be doing some quick crafting, some backgrounds and things like that that I can use later um, and then be able to turn them into cards. But um, I wanted to pop in and be able to kind of hang out with you guys for a little bit. Let me see if I can do some shuffling here and uh, make some room so that I can not have the ink pads like right in your face. So we have a little more room to actually craft. There we go. Sorry about the noise, you guys. Um, I have 14 nurses, 12 docs, 28 backgrounds. Oh my gosh, four dice. I'm not sure my fussy cut scissors are. That is the worst. Oh my gosh. You are gonna be busy though. Man, that is a lot of work. <laughs> That's a lot. Has anyone ever used palette paper for a blending craft mat? I'm going to be totally honest. I don't know what a, 
I don't know what palette paper is. Is it like parchment paper? Because I just thought about that. Maybe that would work. Oh my gosh, Belinda, where have you been all my life? I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Oh my goodness, where have you been? I hope you've been healthy and staying okay. All right, we're moving on to rosy cheeks. I haven't been feeling the pinks lately, you guys. And Simon's inks blend really nicely together. I really like the way that these look. Um, you guys know I love my Distress Oxides, um, but this is a different kind of ink. It just reacts differently and blends differently. Um, and I really, really like these. Wow, I can't believe how much that lightened that up. Crazy. All right, so we went from prom queen. Oh no, prom dress. Nope, prom queen, just kidding. <laughs> it is called prom queen. Prom queen to rosy cheeks. And then we're gonna try to finish out the bottom with the um, uh, piggyback. This is one of the newer colors. It's not the newest, but it's one of the newer colors. Um, this one came out in February. Living with my mom. Oh, can't risk having caregivers. I know that's got to be so stressful. Um, I hope that everyone is doing okay. I know that this this whole scenario is crazy. Um, and we're all just doing the best we can. <laughs> um, our whole area is locked down and um, you're not allowed to go anywhere unless it's like for food. Um, necessities, things like that. Unfortunately for me, I put off buying clothes for too long and now my stuff is getting holes in it and it's bad timing because I can't go buy anything. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, we'll have to figure that out for sure. This color is extremely light, so I am having to layer quite a bit on here in order to get it to blend with the rosy cheeks. Hi, Tracy! Hi, Marcy. Welcome. Um, and that is not anything to do with the ink. It is really just because this color is so light pink. Um, so it definitely, it takes a little bit more ink for the color to kind of intensify a bit. Also, my little foam blending pad here is fairly new still. So it's not really saturated with the ink. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. But when you um, first start using a new foam blending pad, it does take a little while for the ink to really get saturated in it and um, for it to <clears throat> blend nicely. Um, okay, I really like this. I'm going to come back in up at the top with the prom queen a little bit with that darkest pink um, and kind of blend this softer area here. Um, it is a little odd looking. <laughs> so I'm just going to go right over top of that. Um, but yeah, mostly I'm not really doing anything super fancy or, um, you know, <laughs> anything, but I just wanted to come and chat with you guys. I wanted to be able to hang out and see how you guys were doing. Um, I feel like we haven't gotten a ton of time lately to, um, just hang out and, and chat and see what's going on with everybody. Um, all right, so cool. We've got our background all blended. I really, really like this. And in fact, remember that stamp that we used? You know what? I take it back. I'm going to use this one. I was going to use the, um, the geometric one that's the Jewel Heist stamp set, but I think I'm actually going to go with this. I really like the way that this one um, looks. I only just used it for the first time today. And my gosh, my little make art station is really dirty. Um, but let's see if I can get this a little bit wet. I did some ink blending here with um, black dye ink. And I think it's going to, I don't want to scrub it too hard because I don't want the lines to come off. I have noticed that some of my spots here, like you can see the lines are coming off. Um, but this was a scrapbook.com black ink that's not really intended to be ink blended, but I needed a black ink and there it was. So I used it. <laughs> Sorry about this big glare light, you guys. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and lay this down, put the stencil on top, and then that way I can use the uh, 
magnets that come with this. This is a magnetic platform. Um, but yeah, so that way I can do my ink blending. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just go straight over top with the same color that I already used. Um, and that's going to give us sort of like a tone on tone look. So it'll be darker in the areas where we put the stencil here and then it will get lighter as we go down so that it, um, I don't know, it just kind of naturally goes with the flow of what we already have. I think this is a really cool way to get more out of your backgrounds because it gives it a nice, um, you know, I'm just, I have more blending tools. Um, if I just grab them, <laughs> I don't have to keep switching the pads. I don't know why I do that to myself. Let's go ahead and pop them on. Okay, so then we're gonna go into rosy cheeks. But yeah, you get more out of your backgrounds without having to, um, you know, do a whole bunch of different stuff. It gives a nice new depth to it that you wouldn't get if it was just a plain ink blended background. Um, you love Jewel Heist? Yes, me too. Oh, you wish you got the stencil. Um, I really like this one. I didn't think I was gonna like it at first. I knew that I wanted to use it for gel plate stuff, but I didn't know that I was gonna love it for card making. And you guys, I just made a card that's gonna go live tomorrow um, that I am so excited about. And um, I ha I'll have a video for you tomorrow for it. Oh my gosh, yeah, see, I really like this. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So it takes it from just being kind of like, you know, a plain ink blended background and then you've got the nice ombre um, faded out sort of ink blending there I really like that I think that looks so nice all right so we've got that let's see do we want to add now I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off I don't want to get my desk all messy I was gonna say I might um, do some ink splatter and whatnot but I think I'm gonna wait on that um, okay, so we've got one background all done. Let's see, I've got more cardstock here. Where did I put it? <laughs> I'm so disorganized today. All right, we've got another color. Any color requests that you guys have? Um, I've got all my supplies and whatnot sitting here. So if there are color combinations that you guys would like to work with, just let me know and we can make it happen. I was playing around with the new Mother's Day sort of themed set or the superhero set. This one is really fun. I absolutely love that. Um, so you can kind of tell which stamps I've been using. These ones are the two that I used, or three, that I used on my card for tomorrow. I really can't wait to show you guys. Um, the stamp set is so cute. Okay, so uh let's do i'm gonna do a little bit of a rainbow i think um and then maybe i can do some little dots or something with the new bubble wrap stencil i really like that one a lot all right let's do some red do i have yes i do um an ink blending foam for it <laughs> um okay so let me make sure i don't get my pads all mixed up <laughs> I am the worst at that. Uh, hmm. Oh, that does not go with that. Okay, see, I was about to do it to myself. All right, we've got Bee Sting. This is one of the original 12 colors. Um, Simon Hurley, crown me and forget me not. Is it the purple, is it the triple berry? Hold on, let me look. Love this cityscape, isn't it so cute? I've got all my inks right here. Hold on. Um, yeah, crown me I have. Uh, Rose, thank you so much for the subscription. I really appreciate you becoming a subscriber. Welcome. Um, I'm going to start with the red up here at the top. You guys, things have been crazy um, on my channel. I don't know if you guys have noticed or if some of you guys are new to my channel. Um, but, uh, we have been growing, like growing. <laughs> um, I was a little bit slow for a while there, like over the winter months and kind of coming around the corner from the new year, things were a little bit slow and I wasn't really, um, seeing much growth on the channel, but, um, man, 
things have been a little crazy. With the Save the Crafty YouTuber video hop, that kind of kicked things off. And um, ever since then, we have been, we've been growing. Yeah, I know Crown Me, but I don't know Forget Me Not. Is that blue? Is that a, I don't think there, is there a color called that? Um, in Simon's line? I hope I have them all. I think I have them all. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, what color? Let's see. Um, let's go with, this is kind of like an orangey yellow, this guppy. So I'm going to do that one. Purple and blue. Oh, feeling like a little night sky. Okay, cool. I'll do that one next. So I'm going to do this one as a rainbow, and then the next one I will do um, purple and blue. We can definitely do that. All right, so let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> so the more we come into the red, it's going to look more orange. Um, remember me. Okay. Okay. Oh, the blue. Yeah. Yeah. I really like that color. Um, I should have made that connection. I should have known that that's what you meant. <laughs> um, all right. So here you can see they're blending really nicely where it meets here. We've got kind of more of the orange. Um, and then down here where it's just the soul color, uh, it's more yellow. This kind of is a yellowish orange um, to begin with, so it blends really nicely when you're trying to get a combo of these two colors. So we've got red, orange, and then yellow. And I like to generally move in little circles, but sometimes I get a little crazy and I start kind of going back and forth like this, where I'm literally just going up and down and up and down. Because um, some areas, I find that that really helps to really blend the colors together. I don't do it to start with because I don't feel like you get very good color results that way. But um, it depends. Depends. <laughs> um, all right. So then we're going to move into blue. And I think I'm going to go, I'm going to leave it a little yellow at the bottom, but I'm going to pop right in with the clear skies because this is a nice bright blue. They do sound similar. Forget me not, remember me. They have the same like concept. Um, cleaning as I listen. Oh, you're better than me because I'm probably not going to clean up this mess when I'm done either. <laughs> Which is just going to make it that much harder for me to do my next project later tonight and tomorrow morning because I have a few projects that are coming up due. I've got a few things that I need to work on. <laughs> All right, so where the blue and the yellow meet, they're going to create that green for us. Effortless, it just kind of blends itself. Yay. And then I'm not leaving off the purple, so that's what I'm going to add down at the bottom there. I probably could have actually used green instead of just putting the, or like mixing the colors, but... You're alive, I'm not. Yeah, well. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, hi D. Long time no chat, girlfriend. How's it going? Um, let's do let's do some crown. We'll pull out the crown me. It's a little dark, but I think it'll go better with these colors than with the triple berry. Oh yeah. All right, cool. Yep, that was a good choice. I think that matches these colors a little bit better. Love it. I'm so excited to see this line growing and more colors being added so we can get some really awesome ink blended panels. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, yes. Excellent. We've got a rainbow. We did it, you guys. <laughs> we did it. We made the rainbow. Okay, um, so then what we're going to do is we are going to take the bubble wrap stencil over here. Yes, I love that. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so fun. Okay, um, so we're going to take the bubble wrap stencil. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my station again. Sorry about the glare. I know that's got to be irritating. Um, all right, we're going to go ahead and hold that in place with the handy dandy little magnets. And what are we going to do? Are we going to, hmm, how do I want to do this? We can, you know what would be really cool? 
I don't have the right stencil for it. I'm gonna try um, the next time to do some double stenciling, like where you put one stencil with a larger pattern um, down first and then you put a smaller pattern stencil over top of that and then you get some double patterned results. I think that'll be really cool. I wanna do that in a, new, in a video um, in the near future at some point. Um, hi, Melvin, welcome. Um, yeah, I kind of forgot like <laughs> where I was going with this. I had like an idea in my head when I first pulled this out and I put the stencil down and I was like, rainbows, it's gonna be perfect. And then I forgot what I was gonna do. I could color lift, that's a cool idea. Um, what do you guys find the best way to color lift is? Do you just spray directly with water or do you get a paper towel wet first? What do you guys do when you do color lifting? Ooh, Judy, that's a good idea too. Versamark and something glittery. I would need to, um, you know what? I do have, I have an, a translucent embossing paste and then I have, what else do I have? Um, uh, paints and pastes. I've got my drawers labeled now, you guys, so I can just turn around and grab what I need. Hi, Dee Dee, how's it going? Um, I like stenciling over stencils. I always forget about that. Me too. Um, okay, so we have we have the Duo Transfer Gel, which you can foil um, once it dries. So we could do that. Um, we also have... Um, mm, iridescent Glaze. We have... I don't think I've used this. This is an iridescent glaze from Vicky Booten. I really don't think that I've used this one. Um, it, it may, oh, it's still closed. All right, let's just for the sake of using something, let's go ahead and do it. And you know what? I also have this stencil pal thing that I've literally, I, I don't wanna say I literally never used because I'm not sure, but maybe um, it's possible that I've never used it. <laughs> you love the paste idea, yes, okay. I'm gonna try it. I have no idea what this is like. Okay, it is very silvery. Um, I think it'll still look okay. I think it'll be all right. Um, my nails are like chipping and oh, this is not good. Don't let me paint my own nails. Let me paint all the things, I mean, not real painting, I, ink blending, things like that. I'm your girl. Um, other stuff, nope. <laughs> not for me. I'm gonna grab a... Spatula. I think these Nouveau spatulas are really good for stuff like this. So I'm going to try. Yeah, the gel would have to dry. Yeah, we won't be able to do it um, tonight. Uh, maybe I won't use the stencil palette. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how to do this. Like I get that you're supposed to kind of like put some at the top, sort of like screen printing. But I feel very... Um, out of my element? I don't know how the what the best way to do this is. You guys are probably like, you are a crazy person. What are you doing? <laughs> and that is fair because it's true. I can't do my own nails so uncoordinated. I'm glad I'm not alone because, man, <sighs> I can't either. All right, so then what? You're supposed to, I guess I have to move these because they're in my way. You're just supposed to, like, drag it. Uh... I don't know how I feel about this. How are you supposed to do this? Teach me your ways, you guys. How do you use the stencil pal? I feel like it should have been self-explanatory, but I am not doing well. So I'm not, I don't think I'm doing it right. <laughs> do you put it on here first and then drag it? I, I don't, I think that I actually haven't used this because I don't think that there's any way I've used this and this is still how uncoordinated I am. Let's try putting it on here first and see what happens. <laughs> Use, oh, on the flat end, not on the curved side. That would make sense. All right, so if I start, if I start here and then I just go, maybe I didn't have enough on it Use the flat edge. You guys are so smart. All right. Well, I'm committed now. Oh, I shouldn't go the opposite direction because that'll get underneath the, um, that will get underneath. I don't want to do that. 
Ooh, I'm making a mess, you guys. I said, oh, I'm not gonna make a mess. I'm just gonna do something fast and easy and it's gonna be fine. <laughs> and here I am making a giant mess. Yeah, I will use the flat edge next time, but I'm kind of already committed to this side. It's working out slowly but surely. Um, taking longer than it probably would have had I done it the correct direction. Um, <laughs> but, but you know, you live and you learn. All right, so that's why I didn't get a good coverage on this end. That's fine. I'm making it work, but you guys are totally right. It would be much easier and more straightforward had I used it the correct direction. So next time I will know that I'm supposed to use it the other way. All right, so I'm gonna try to keep it, ooh, I scraped it. I'm gonna try to keep it even. Uh, there's like something in there that is causing like that line, you see that, how it keeps scraping it? I wonder why that's happening. Hmm. Okay, well, it's good enough. I think that's probably fine. Not the curved edge. I know, I hear you guys, I hear you, I, I know. <laughs> but I already used this side and I would have to get my hand all dirty and ha clean it off and I didn't want to have to do that. <laughs> I know, I know you're supposed to, I, I hear you guys. <laughs> um, oh no! I put, I put, oh, blasphemy. <laughs> I put the spatula down on my background. What is wrong with me? Frazzled crafting, you guys. Can I get it off? That is the question. I'll have to put something over top of this to make it, um, uh, uh, it's going to be like slightly sparkly. We're going to have to put something over top of that. You guys can't take me anywhere. What kind of crafter am I? <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Less is more. You can put the excess back in the jar. Whoops. All right, next time. Next time. Okay, so the flat edge will help uh, level it out even and spread it out. Okay, flatten the curve. You guys are too much. <laughs> it makes sense, but why is it curved on one side? Like, what is the point of it being curved? You guys are the experts. I know nothing about this. I, <laughs> I obviously have never used it before. It's been sitting in there. I actually have two of them, and um, I've never used them. So, <laughs> this is my life. This is what it looks like off camera, too, you guys. So, I think it's it's like this with a lot of people. Whoa, that's awesome. Um, I am going to have to clean this, though. What was I thinking? All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some paper towels. Mm, I'm going to lay this on the paper towels and spray it with water. And then that way um, it stays wet, I hope. <laughs> I hope this is even the right side. All right, so I'm gonna spray it with water and then I'm gonna flip it over and then hopefully that will keep it moist or wet or whatever until I can get to the, um, oh, they come two in a pack? Oh my gosh. Well, then I might have three. Hold on. <laughs> There's another one in here. Um, in here. Hold on. Oh no, okay, I have three. You guys. <laughs> There's two in here. So I have three, and I've never used them. Whoops. <laughs> it's just been in my, in my drawer full of pastes and all that. All right, so very carefully, somehow, I'm gonna lift this up. Okay, oh, this is actually really pretty. Wow, I wonder what it's gonna look like when it's dry. Um, Amber, <laughs> catching you live for the first time and you are cracking me up. <laughs> this is daily with me. Um, I don't test things before I go live and I should, but it's probably more entertaining if I don't because then you guys can laugh at all of the ridiculous things that I do because I am like totally a normal person. 
Um, and I don't know all the things. I just fly by the seat of my pants and hope for the best. <laughs> all right. Well, that went better than I thought it was going to. That, that actually came up fairly well. All right. Let's see. I don't want to leave this on my um, station, so I definitely want to wipe this up as fast as I can. It's a little sticky over here. This is where it was the thinnest, I think. Yeah, man, these lines, they sure are coming right off. Um, this is from ink blending previously. I don't know. I don't know how to prevent that. I didn't use anything on it that I shouldn't have, but that happens sometimes. Um, okay, so now we have two backgrounds. Oh my gosh, I'm getting this paste everywhere. Um, we have two backgrounds. Let's see if I can kind of just smooth the edge a little bit so that it's not uh, everywhere. Oh my gosh, I think I just got it in my hair. <laughs> what is this life? I'm pretty sure it's in my hair, which I just took a shower, so that's frustrating. <laughs> um, all right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm wasting so many paper towels right now. I'm being bad. Okay, I'm gonna turn this bad boy sideways like that. Good, good, and then I'm gonna go ahead and don't test. <laughs> then we all have the same struggles and successes. Yeah, all right, and then we're gonna put that there. So there's the two backgrounds that we've made so far. Unfortunately, this one has gotten a little bit of goop on it. Hi, Linda. <laughs> um, and yes, so that's unfortunate, but uh, We'll make the most of it when we turn it into a card. And look, I got some on my stamp. This is not okay. I am the messiest crafter ever. Um, you can't take me anywhere. I just get everything dirty. Uh. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Oh, uh, mine's coming off too. Oh no, I wonder if it's, I don't know. I followed the instructions when it said, you know, to how to clean it and whatever. Um, but alas, uh, Rita, thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the family. <laughs> we are a crazy little bunch over here. So, uh, you're in for, for a fun time. Um, she's like this in person. It's so true. This is the, my real self. Cindy Ellen has met me in person. Um, and it's true. I'm really, I get frazzled. Okay. I just, I get frazzled. Most crafters are messy. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to move this over. Ugh, there we go. And I've once again lost the cardstock. How does this keep happening? You guys. Someone, quick, tell me where I put the cardstock. <laughs> I had four sheets. Um, I had four sheets. I'm looking around like legitimately I don't know where it is. Maybe I put it over here. Found it. Crisis averted. It was under the backgrounds that I just moved over there. Okay. <laughs> here we go. We're doing, what did we ask? We asked for remember me and um, crown me, right? Yes. And then let's use, we're going to pull out clear skies too in case that works. Um, all right. I, have a, I use a Fisker silicone mat over my station. Ooh, that's a good idea. I should have done that. Uh, <laughs> I blame the stencil pal. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I could have just put this over top of it. That's what I should have done. I should have just put the craft mat on top and that would have solved my problems because then it wouldn't have gotten all of the paste on it. It would have been so much better. Okay, next time. Next time I will do the smart thing. You guys are gonna be here to remind me next time to do the smart thing, right? Right? <laughs> okay, Um. here we go. But here's the thing. I can't find my cardstock, but I can find the chocolate. So priorities, I'll let you be the judge of that. 
Um, all right, so we're gonna start with the uh, Crown Me. This is a nice deep purple we use at the bottom of our rainbow. Um, I feel like there's ink pads everywhere. <laughs> This is gonna take me forever to clean up, you guys. All right, so this is gonna be our last background because I have to go eat dinner. And actually, I've stayed too long. Um, I meant to kind of pop on and then get right back off because I have a um, I have a, another stream on my video game channel because I'm living that kind of life. Um, I have a video game channel on Twitch um, where I stream while I play video games. And you can just chat with me if you want, if you wanna hang out. Um, I'll be over there, but that's at eight. Although I'm probably going to be a couple minutes late seeing how I'm still here right now. <laughs> Chocolate for sure. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm doing my blending and what I'm doing is dark at the top and then fading it out as I get lower. That way it will blend more easily with the next color. I find that this works much better than leaving a harsh line because it's really hard to blend a harsh line into something that looks smooth. And when you, um, when you leave that little bit, it kind of just helps it meld together and things just blend a little bit more seamlessly. And I really like that because nobody wants harsh lines that they, I don't know, you don't want it to just be like striped and you want it to be ink blended. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is really pretty. This was a good call. I don't think I've used these colors to get together yet. I'll have to go back and check, but I don't think I have. Yeah, these inks do blend really nicely. I like them a lot. Well, you can't even tell, because of the way my light is right now, you can't even tell that there's a difference, but in person, they look really different. <laughs> I don't know why they look so similar in this lighting right now, but in person they look very different. Weird. My lighting is apparently not very true to color. All right. And then we're gonna switch out to the clear skies. It still holds the stencil nice. Uh-oh. Alert. Oh, I, you guys. I literally flipped that over and didn't think it was there, so I flipped it back over and thought that I lost it. Nope, it was on the bottom. Just didn't look hard enough. I'd like to blame the quarantine or something for my lack of memory. Why does this seem so bright? The colors are too perfect. <laughs> um. Man, life is crazy right now. That light version of Re um, Remember Me looks like clear skies. Wow. That talk about a blend. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> okay, so we've got this one. And then now let's go ahead and actually do our, um, our lift that we were talking about before. I'm gonna grab the, um, see if I can do this without dropping everything on the floor. I'm gonna spray uh, the stamp and then turn it over. So pretty, glad I thought of it, yes. <laughs> Let me move this out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna get that nice and wet and then go ahead and plop this right on top and then use a, a clean paper towel just so that I can give it a nice press. <laughs> Take a deep breath. It doesn't help. I feel like this is my normal, well, not necessarily normal, but I, I don't know. Whenever I try to go live, I get so nervous about messing up that I just mess everything up. Um, and it's so funny because I have been going live for like a while. <laughs> I'm not really new at it, so you would think that like the novelty would sort of wear off, but it hasn't. Oh, I love it. You guys, it looks so good. Oh, it's like faded and antiqued. I did get a little bit of some other color in here, but I actually think that's really cool. Oh my goodness. 
that is so pretty. <laughs> I love that so much. Um, yes, I was going to go to Lucky to Know You. I was. Yep, but unfortunately, with everything going on, the event wasn't able to take place. I was really bummed. But yeah, I was. I was going to go. Were you going to be there, Cindy Ellen? I bet you were. Okay, so these are the backgrounds that we created in our session today. Super cute. I love them all. I'm really happy with these. This one, I'm interested to see what that looks like when it dries. That is going to be really cool. I think it's going to change a little bit, but I'm obsessed. This looks incredible. <laughs> that looks amazing. Um, this is going to be really awesome. And unfortunately, this one got some gloop on it, but I think we can save it. I'll put something over top of it and then you won't even know the difference. <laughs> Um, hooray, we've done it. Okay, so I only have 10 minutes to try to figure out my dinner. So I am going to go ahead and let you guys go for tonight. I will be back again next Monday. I'm going to try to start going live a little earlier um, than I was before so that um, we don't feel so rushed, that there's not this pressure to like get done really fast so that we can spend a little more time together. Um, those are amaze balls. I love that. <laughs> you guys are the coolest. I love hanging out with you guys. Um, if you are into video games, even if you're not and you just like hanging out with people and chatting, you can um, check me out on Twitch. I um, just stream video games. <laughs> so, um, oops. Uh, www.twitch.tv. There we go. Okay, so that is my Twitch channel. I'm gonna be live in there in just a little while, just hanging out. I'm gonna be playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> um, I'm working on getting my island to five stars. If you don't know what Animal Crossing is, you're missing out. Um, but yeah, anyway, so uh, I'm gonna be hanging out over there. If you guys love Animal Crossing or if you just want someone to hang out with and you don't mind my babbling, um, you can come and hang out with me and chat. We can talk about whatever. We don't even have to talk about video games. Um, but I'd love to see you there. If you guys want to hang out, I put the link in the chat. Um, you're a mom with young kids during quarantine on an extremely hard day. <laughs> you seem to be an extrovert who gets to be, oh yes, like-minded people. Yes, of course you're excited. I know it's true. Um, this is like my only adult interaction. Um, and there's not even anyone actually talking like out loud to me. So you know, the bubble wrap looks like dimes. I'm rich. <laughs> we put all the dimes on the card. That's how we're going to send our money these days. <laughs> Forget gift cards. Just tape dimes to your, uh, your greeting cards. It'll be fine. This is totally fine. <laughs> um, love your babbling. You're so sweet. Thank you. I don't know. You have to be the right kind of personality to put up with me, I think. <laughs> you don't have the right machine. Oh, you don't have a Nintendo Switch? You could still come and hang out with me. Just saying. All right, you guys. I'm going to go stuff some food in my face before I start my video game stream. But I will see you guys again real soon. I have another video for you tomorrow with some Simon Hurley products. And otherwise, I'll see you next week. Love you guys. See you later. <laughs>